Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss difference between embed tag, object tag and iframe tags. So let's get started. I go to start, click on notepad and here I write typical HTML structure, opening HTML tag, closing HTML tag. We know that HTML is divided into two sections, head section and body section. And in the head section, we know that we can put the title, title difference between object comma embed and iframe tags closing title i save this file save as i save the file at desktop with the name default dot html both sides i put double quotation and i click on the save button i minimize the notepad i right click on default dot html page open with the firefox you can see that title is set to difference between object embed etc here now we proceed further and understand each of the tags I suggest you people to observe carefully each of the three tags. If you observe carefully embed tag, object tag and iframe tags, they seem to be very similar or identical to each other with respect to their syntax or code. Let's see the code. I start with object tag. So here I am going to write object opening tag, closing object tag. Object tag, we are going to put something like this. Object tag has one of the attribute called as data. To this, we have to give URL of a file or a resource so that we can be able to embed that resource in our web page. You can see here, I have an image picture. I'm going to copy the name of that picture because I want to embed the picture. So here I have given picture dot JPG and I set the width W I D T H width. I am going to set 159 pixels H E I G S T height. I am going to set 194 pixels. Now I am going to say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Once I refresh the page, you will see image embedded here. You can see that I got the image. I minimize it. And now you can see that how the object code looks. And just below that, I am going to write the embed tag E M B E D opening embed. Embed tag has SRC attribute. To that, I am going to give the same image name. I am going to copy that and paste here. Width and height also, I am going to set same. I am going to copy here and paste it. And then I close EMBED embed tag. If you observe both of the codes carefully, here we are using data attribute. With respect to embed, we are using SRC attribute. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that embed tag is also doing the same thing. It is helping us to embed the file. I go back here. This time I am going to use iframe tag to embed the image. So I am going to say here iframe. iframe has an attribute src and I am going to take the same attributes whatever we have here. I copy and paste here. Only one attribute I am going to add here is frame P-O-R-D-E-R frame border I set to zero. I do not want to see the frame border around the iframe. That is the reason I am setting here frame border zero. Then I am going to close the iframe tag. If I say file, save and go to browser and refresh, you can see that iframe is also giving us the same embedding option. I am going to sc set the scrolling also. Scrolling is equal to no. I do not want scrolling of save it and refresh we don't have scrolling and you can see that we have three images embedded to the website or a web page and they are all quite similar right object tag is also doing the same thing embed tag is also doing the same thing iframe is also doing the same thing i am going to show now with respect to pdf file how they work okay let me put the break tag over here i use a break tag and below that i am going to use again object and data attribute to that i am going to give the pdf file this time i want to embed the pdf file so i am going to copy intro to science pdf and i paste it here this time I am going to say width W I D T H width. I am going to set 590 and height H E I G H T height. I am going to set 315. Let's say. And then I am going to, or I can use width 100% and H E I G H T height. I am going to set maybe 200 pixels is proper. Let me see 200 pixels. Then I am going to close the object tag and this should embed a PDF file in our web page file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it has embedded a pdf file which we can read it is giving all the options with respect to the firefox this time instead of object tag i am going to use embed tag e m b e d embed and i'm going to change here src and here i am going to change it to e m b e d embed tag file save Go to browser and refresh. You can see that now we have two PDFs. The same PDF is displayed here. You can see two times. And this time I am going to use iframe tag to do the same operation. So iframe, 
I'm going to replace this embed with iframe and this one I'm going to replace with iframe. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that iframe is also doing the same operation. So you can use object tag, embed tag and iframe tag to embed a PDF in your website or a web page. Let me copy this break and paste it here. And how do we how do you embed a YouTube video or a video playlist in your website or a web page? It's quite simple. If you go to YouTube and play any video or a video playlist, just below the video you get a share button. If you click on that, again you get a share, embed and email tabs. Click on the embed tab, there you get HTML code to embed the video or video playlist. All you need to do is copy the code and paste it in your web page. And that HTML code I have already copied for my HTML video playlist. I do open with the notepad. This is how the code looks. You can see that YouTube uses iframe tag. It provides us iframe tag to embed any video or a video playlist to our HTML web page. I am going to copy this from here. I copy this and paste it in my web page here. And it is having same thing. You can see iframe tag using the SRC attribute. There we are giving the link to the YouTube playlist, which is having the embed here. You can see and width I have 560 and height is 315 and it is telling frame border should be zero. I'm going to remove this. This code you get in from the YouTube itself. So you just need to copy that and paste it in your web page file, save, go to browser and refresh. If we are connected to the internet, we get the video. As I am not connected to the internet, it is telling server not found. If we are connected to the internet, here you will see the HTML video playlist displayed and your user can play also. Quite simple. The same operation you can perform by using the object tag also. I am going to copy that and paste here. Only difference is I just need to give this link. I am going to copy this and paste here that link and width and height I am going to set same 560 I am copy I am going to copy and paste here and height is going to be 315 copy and paste here file save and go to browser and refresh so you can see that it is not showing anything at present I am going to copy the embed tag also and paste it over here and to this I am going to give the same path I copy that and paste here to the SRC attribute and width I am going to set 560 and height I am going to set 350 paste here file save go to browser and refresh so here you can see that we are not getting here anything with respect to embed tag because it is not identifying anything neither the object tag also I am going to cut that and paste here above I say file save go to browser and refresh so you can see that nothing we are finding with respect to the embed and object tag but with respect to the syntax they are similar and uh, if you are connected to the internet actually all of them three of them are going to display the HTML video tutorial series playlist embedded here as I am not connected to, connected to the internet I am not getting any proper result but if you observe carefully all are performing the same operation but embed tag object tag and iframe tags are behaving quite little bit different in the browser with respect to the syntax if you observe object tag takes data attribute embed tags take SRC attribute and iframe tags takes at SRC attribute to embed the external resource then what is the difference between them and when we have to use them actually okay you need to remember some point embed tag object tag and iframe tags are used to embed resources which are external or internal to website the difference is embed and object tag are static whereas iframe is dynamic for example iframe has a capability to adjust itself with respect to updated plugins and viewer software configuration whereas embed and object tags not if you have observed here embed and object tags were not giving any frame or guideline to the user that uh, is it is not connected to, connected to the internet or server not found whereas iframe this is actually iframe tag doing this operation we face some problems with respect to object and embed tag whereas we don't face problem with the iframe tag it at least gives us a proper uh, information and uh, identifies the software configurations available on devices and also we know that mobile devices don't support flash players if we embed a video using the object or a embed tag 
then the video can't be played because they don't know which video player or a plugin or a software available on the viewer's device as they are static. Whereas iframe gets update in real time, it detects and automatically uses the appropriate video player and plays the video on almost all platforms. Similarly for other file format plugins also, for example for PDF files, images etc. The iframe tag works quite proper in all devices. Hence, it is recommended to use iframe tag instead of object or a embed tags. Also, object tag is deprecated. Use embed tag only when iframe tag is not suitable to embed an external resource. Iframe tag handles software settings updates dynamically. Hence, YouTube video link are embedded using iframe tags. You can use object tag if you want to run the Java applet. And uh, I suggest you people to use embed tag over the object tag because object tag is getting deprecated. And uh, I suggest you people to use embed tag only when you cannot perform something using the iframe tag. As I told that object and embed tag are static whereas iframe tag is a dynamic and it is supported by almost all the browsers and HTML5 prefers using the iframe tag over object tag and embed tag. So for this tutorial this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to try these tags and try this code yourself and experiment more. For more benefits please subscribe and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. See you in the next tutorial.